Hey guys, my name is Veronica and I am going to be a junior at Marquette University this fall, but I'm currently studying abroad in Rome, Italy, in case this is your first time seeing one of my videos. It is currently Monday and I'm back from both of my classes and I went on a weekend trip this past weekend in case you didn't see that vlog already, but I have no groceries currently and had like the wimpiest Nutella sandwich for lunch. And so my roommate Claire and I are currently going on our way to the grocery store. Hey! <laughs> and uh, yeah, great start to the week. <laughs> Well, we just got back from the grocery store and I thought it would be fun to do a quick little uh, grocery store haul in Europe. I forgot to mention this when I started the vlog, but it's actually our last week in Rome. And even though I'm continuing my stay in Europe and I'm going to be traveling, uh, we're leaving this apartment at the end of the week. And so we're kind of just using the rest of the food that we have for meals. And so this definitely isn't a very extensive grocery haul. I picked up a package of like lettuce and spinach for salads for lunch this week. And then also we got just some chicken uh, for meals as well as some plain pasta. And then I got some apricots as well. And then after the grocery store, we stopped by a local fruit and vegetable market. And so I just picked up some um, nectarines, right? I think these are nectarines. And then we also got a zucchini as well as some radishes for the salads I'll be making myself. So anyway, that was a very like small grocery haul. Definitely not too extensive, but I thought it would be fun to throw that in the vlog, but we're just gonna take a little bit of a break. I'm gonna try to get a video edited and then we'll be making dinner. I remember this past year, whenever I would watch other creators or like YouTubers who were doing study abroad semesters, I was always wondering why they were only doing vlogs of their weekend trips and not really filming like week in my life. But honestly, now that I have done this like really short five week summer term, I completely understand what they were going through because you spend the entire week kind of like working ahead on your schoolwork so that you're able to go on weekend trips. And then when you come back from weekend trips, you have to like catch up on schoolwork. So you're constantly doing work and vlogging and like doing YouTube obviously takes time away from that. So this is only gonna be the second week in my life vlog that I do while here and it's my last week, but um, you know, I'm just gonna try to make it count. There was no one performing at the square we were sitting at and so we've decided to come down to the river and there are some night markets here. Hey guys and happy Tuesday. I think the only clip I got so far today was actually on my way to my first class of the day when I was just like grabbing coffee. But I'm now headed to my second class, so there's been a little bit of a time jump since I last vlogged. I kind of just spent my lunch break FaceTiming Lizzie because the two of us are going on like a Europe trip after this week is over. And so we were just kind of planning any like tours that we're doing and like other stuff we want to see in the cities that we'll be visiting. Um, but I just got off of FaceTime with her. Well, it is currently Wednesday afternoon and yesterday after my class, I had a review session for my final exam 
and I don't know what came over me, but I was just feeling so tired and I just felt drained and was not in the mood to like socialize at all, even with my vlog camera. And so I kind of just ended up having like a really relaxed evening in my apartment and I've been working on this presentation. I'm just going through my slideshow right now, but this is a presentation I'm doing for my prejudice and discrimination class. But anyways, I have this presentation in a few hours and then I'm also going to be reviewing for my final exam for my other class. And then other than that, my plans are to like have a dinner at home, go out tonight since there are only a few days left in Rome and I'm just trying to take advantage of the time I have left with the friends I made here. So really nothing special has been going on, but I wanted to update you guys since I did a terrible job of vlogging yesterday. Well, my presentation ended up going very well, so I'm super glad about that, but I ended up going back to my apartment and editing for a little while, and then I've just changed, and I'm meeting up with some of my friends for dinner, and then we're probably gonna go out afterwards, but I'm running a little bit late, so I'm walking pretty fast because they live in a different apartment building than me, um, but we recently discovered our favorite restaurant just this past Sunday. It's called Tony's, and we want to go at least one more time, before we leave Rome. So that is the plan for tonight. Well, it is now Thursday morning and I am just about to leave for my last day of classes, which is crazy. This snuck up on me so fast. Like, obviously I know that this is my last week, but I don't think it's quite hit me until this moment that like, I have to leave in 48 hours. But yeah, last day of classes and I'm kind of sentimental. This is my last time that I'm gonna be going to class in Italy. I'm back from my first class of the day and I just made myself lunch which doesn't look very appetizing on camera. We really only have the basics in our kitchen and we didn't want to go grocery shopping since we're moving out in uh, just a few days. But I have like 40 minutes until my next class and then I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. I do have a final exam tomorrow so I'm also going to have to study at some point but I just wanted to give you guys like a midday update. So I am just out of my last class. It's really hot outside. It's like 100 degrees today. And we stopped into a gelato place. Hey! And we all got gelato, treating ourselves. We survived class. We still have a final tomorrow, but you know. It is now the next morning and I don't know why I've been so terrible at like vlogging my afternoons, but yesterday I pretty much just ended up spending a lot of time studying for my final, uh, which I'm actually going to right now. It was a very simple night, but I am going to go take this final right now. I'm gonna kill it and then I get back to my apartment and I have to start packing my bags because I leave in 24 hours. I started packing up my suitcase, but I'm taking a lunch break right now to meet some of my friends at a taco place of all spots in Rome, but they all had later finals than I did, so I'm just meeting them there. It's been a few hours since I last talked to you guys when I went to go get lunch with my friends. Anyways, I kind of came to the conclusion that I had brought a lot of like sweatshirts and long sleeves and I barely wore them during my time here in Rome and so it's only gonna get hotter in Europe in July 
and I've decided I'm gonna send a package of a bunch of like my extra long sleeves back home. So I've kind of, so I've essentially just packed both of these canvas bags full of like clothing items and souvenirs that I'm sending back home because I don't want to lug them around in my suitcase for the next month because not only do they take up a lot of space, but they're also heavier. And so I've just decided I'm going to be sending a package home. So I'm going to take all of that stuff to a local shipping office and just like buy a box and they will take care of getting it to my house for me. And then I also have been running into some problems with my phone and SIM card because I got a European SIM card when I came to Italy. It was supposed to be a two month plan and my first month just ended a few days ago and for some reason, the phone just isn't working. Well, more specifically, my data isn't working, which is very important because I'm gonna be needing it for the next month. So I'm gonna also stop by the Vodafone store to see if they can help me with that. And then because I'll be in the area, I'll also just go to like the Pantheon and also check out Piazza Navona because strangely enough, throughout the five weeks of me being here, I never went to go see it. So just gonna do some errands and also a little bit of sightseeing before coming back, packing some more, and then going to dinner. I finished my errands and got a gelato, but already finished the whole thing on my walk over here. And now I am next to the Pantheon. And so yeah, just gonna like take it in one last time, then walk over to Piazza Navona because I literally never went during the five weeks that I was studying abroad here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to take in as much of Rome as I can before I have to leave. also been my big souvenir shopping day so I have been stopping at all the little stores and getting postcards and little mementos um, mostly for myself just small things just to remember this trip anyways I am on my way to Piazza Navona right now progress with my packing. Even though it doesn't look like it, I swear I'm getting there. But I think I am going to end the vlog right here. I leave tomorrow morning for Florence and am starting a whole other leg of my European adventure for the summer and I am so excited to take you guys on this next part of my summer and I know I've been saying over and over again how sad I am to be leaving Rome just because this has been my home for the past month but it has honestly been such an eye-opening and like amazing experience to have studied abroad here and I just wish I could stay longer but I'm so grateful for the time that I did have in this city and I know that one day I'm gonna have to come back especially with my parents I want to bring my mom and dad back here one day and I can't recommend studying abroad enough if any of you are even thinking about doing it but I am probably going to throw on something and go say one last goodbye to my friends. I think we're gonna sit on some steps and just enjoy each other's company on our last night in Rome because everyone's leaving tomorrow morning and yeah, it's all bittersweet. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, please make sure to go do that. It is Veronica Paulina YT and I post 
so much on there and it's always up to date so i'm sure you guys would love my content on there if you love my videos on here thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i hope you enjoyed and other than that i will see you guys in my next video bye